whenever a woman gives birth or after giving birth, no woman remains the same. There are so many things that will change in her body as a woman. So one of the major things that most women experience after giving birth is a big abdomen or what we call big belly or big tummy. So this brings us to the topic of today, how to lose belly fat after delivery or how to lose belly fat after pregnancy so when it comes to losing belly fat as a woman that just gave birth there are some things that we consider before you even venture in, into it the first one first even before you start anything is that you need to must have been um, certified fit or be declared fit to go into exercise by your attending midwife or the obstetrician that attended to you when you give birth. Another thing that is also being considered is the mode of delivery. What mode of delivery did you use in delivering this baby? This one may not really, really have a hand when I start talking about what you should do, but it helps to determine when you should actually start your weight loss journey as well as the kind of things that you should do in order to achieve your weight loss journey the most important thing also is what your body type is in the past i talked about different ty kinds of body types you can watch that video i will link it up in the description somewhere here you need to watch the body type we have three major or uh, three distinct body types the, the endomorphs the mesomorphs and the ectomorphs and let me just explain it in a nutshell you there are some people that right from the time they were born to now even after giving birth they've been slain like giving birth did not even affect their weight now this is a distinct body type and this kind of people irrespective of what they eat their weight gain or their weight loss fairly remains constant. Now, there are another set of people that have never been slim all their life. In fact, they've never even crossed 70 kg, even at their lowest or their, the lowest kg they've ever experienced. Now, irrespective of your body type, pregnancy has a way of disrupting the body type an individual know before they conceive. So, if you are the, if you are the slim type and you give birth and you add little that means that when you want to lose weight it may not really take you time to lose weight now there are some people that have been chubby they have been big they have been like these people we call both big bold and beautiful when they give birth they tend to add more weight to themselves so you see that this kind of person when they start doing their weight loss it is not the same result that someone that has been slim all their life we experience that this same person we experience let's now go straight to what you should do in order to lose your belly fat when it comes to losing belly fat or the tummy fat or as in making your tummy to come back to its pregnant um, status there are three things that will be considered whatever you eat have to be considered the second one is exercise then the third one is your general body mechanism like to make sure that you don't have any endocrine issues now when it comes to what we eat the secret of losing weight either you want to lose generalized body weight or you want to lose just a particular portion of your body you need to watch what you eat and the first thing when it comes to what you eat is portion control portion control is so essential let me explain to us what i mean by this now when it comes to portion control instead of eating your food with this kind of plate instead of eating your food with this kind of plate you can decide to start using this kind of plate so the amount of food that will enter this one this one may give you half of it. Now, when you must achieve, must have achieved using a smaller plate like this to eat, then you can move to another smaller plate like this, something like this. You can use this to portion your meal, and instead of eating a full plate of food, instead of eating food that filled this particular plate, you can portion it with this, as in you share it into two and eat it two times or three times within a stipulated time. Then the second effective way when it comes to what we eat is doing intermittent fasting. 
when it comes to intermittent fasting you have to reduce your major meals to just two meals in a day and this is how you go about intermittent fasting you start with your dinner first so after your last meal in the night the next meal should be followed by 16 hours. If you know you cannot do 16 hours, you can do next meal can be 10 hours, next meal can be um, 12 hours, next meal can be 11 hours. But there should be some time between the time you ate your last meal and your first meal. Then after your first meal, the next meal should come 6 hours after your first meal. So if you ate your first meal by 12 p.m., then your next meal should be by 6 p.m. So that is how you do intermittent fasting. And how intermittent fasting helps you to achieve weight loss is that those times you did not eat, those times you are not taking anything, your body tends to use the stored fat it will be converted into energy like there are process of converting stored fat in the body into energy that explains why whenever you start fasting the first after the first hours you feel so hungry then after some time it it seems like the hunger has vanished you just feel okay so intermittent fasting helps our body to regulate the stored ones that we have in our system already while waiting for the ones that we eat another effective thing is you need to drink water see when it comes to weight loss you cannot um we cannot overemphasize the importance of water you need to drink water like you need to make taking water a habit each time anywhere you are going ensure you have extra bottle of water with you or that you have money to get water for yourself so you need to take water that time you are doing intermittent fasting you don't need to do dry fasting you can take water you can take some fresh fruit juices like you can munch some fruit like apple cucumber you cannot just stay like that because you are breastfeeding your baby and you need to to be able to lactate when you breastfeed your baby the environment is already noisy children are coming back from school i need to tell us one thing when you start your weight loss journey as a mom one thing one effective or one downside of it is that it will drastically reduce the amount of breast milk that you produce and this is why we encourage you to start your weight loss journey after six months of delivery by then you must have been giving your baby complementary feeding with breast milk and formula thereby giving you some time to rest from breastfeeding on demand when you come to that thing you eat in your plate of meal after your intermittent fasting ensure you have your complete balanced meal like you have enough protein in that food let protein be higher than carbohydrates or let it be balanced don't just eat more of carbohydrate without balancing it with protein you can eat animal protein there are so many protein options out there that you can use to supplement your meal what protein does apart from renewing your tissues it helps you to stay full for a longer time before the next meal then you also need to incorporate vegetables and fruits in your meal now i will emphasize on this fruit some people will, they will tell you they are taking fruit fruit there are some sugary fruit, fruits out there that when you take it too much it will even help you to add more weight than losing weight so you need to portion whatever you are eating be it food or fruit it needs to be portioned and be taken in a controlled form now another important thing when it comes to weight loss is exercise see it is also possible to lose weight with only food but if you want to have effective results you need to combine it with exercise there are so many exercises you can do by taking a walk in your neighborhood. You don't even need to lose it to, to, to leave your house. You can walk around your house just doing it consistently. Consistent you can also jump ropes. You can dance. There are so many exercises that you can do in order to achieve um, flat belly or in order to reduce your tummy um, after delivery. Now, this exercise is not just to go and carry big weight that may endanger you you start small small and you become consistent with it the goal of exercise is to remain consistent now you may be asking oh no i'm not ready for portion control i'm not also ready for exercise see you can lose weight with only eating food but the only thing is when you lose weight with only food it makes you to appear sick like 
it, your muscles and your body may not really be tuned up. So when you are doing partial control and doing minor exercises, it will help your body to, to balance up your muscles, to tune up and not leaving you to look sick. That's why when you see someone drastically lose weight without exercise or without partial control, that person will look sick before you, even though they've lost the amount of weight that they want. So I don't want to prolong this video, but if you follow these steps that I mentioned in this video, believe you me, you are going to see some changes. And know that these changes is not going to be sudden, but it will come gradually. And for you to know the effort that you are making, before you start off at all, I will encourage you to use tape to measure your arm circumference, like see my cloth is already tightened, you measure your arm circumference, you measure your waist, you also measure your hip size. Then after two or three weeks that you must have started your exercise or your portion control, you measure it again. By then you are going to see a change. Even if it's 0 0.1 kg that you lost, it is something. In case if you are stopping to my channel for the first time, my name is Amara Uzadiwe. I'm the rich nest midwife whose concern is to help women achieve maximum health, especially women that are pregnant or those that have just given birth. I also talk about things that relate to general health that a man can also see or find help from. This is the kind of content that you love to watch. Kindly follow me by subscribing to my channel and clicking the notification bell so that you don't miss out when I post new video content. Until then, see you.